Yo guys, Spider here, and uh, we've got a starting strategy that we think is going to be pretty effective for you guys here on Mob of the Dead. Uh, while I've been running around the videos, uh, Axel, Hyper, and Mankiller have been hard at work playing. I think Hyper went to like round 24 or something solo. But uh, anyways, we're just going to start in the starting area. We're going to open up that first door and go up to the first dog location. Now, I slowed it down there a little bit for you guys so you could see uh, where it is we're going. The B23R is available on the wall if you want it. I'd suggest, especially if you're playing four-player co-op, and Hyper, he's had one too many uh, energy drinks, it appears. Uh, I suggest maybe uh, two players grab the B23R and the other two sort of try and wait until we get to the next area. So the goal here is to uh, feed the dogs, uh, the three dogs, and open up access to the tomahawks at the same time we're going to op open up the quickest access to jug so we're not only going to have jug we're also going to have the tomahawks which are you know the tomahawks are very very effective especially at these early rounds so we're just finishing off uh, feeding the one beast here and then we're going to move on to the second one here in a moment again trying to keep it uh, going quick otherwise this would be uh, too drawn out now even though we've uh, we've fed the first dog or beast, we still have to open up a couple doors. One's 2,000 and there's another 1,000. So you need a total of uh, 3,000 points and one player, obviously, at least with 2,000, not just the sum of your four player scores. So the door at the top of the stairs is 2,000 and then we're gonna go to the infirmary and open that door for 1,000. All right, so we're making our way through there now. Looks like uh, we got the door open and we're going into the infirmary where that second dog location, there it is. So we got to kill a zombie in order to spawn the dog and then just stay here a while. And that's what I mean. If you can get, uh, if you can have only two players grab the B23R because you're definitely going to need it, uh, I, in my opinion anyway, uh, unless you get kind of lucky. I get down there, but it doesn't matter. I don't have Jug yet. Um, and we got an insta-kill, which is, which is pretty handy. So, and then you have the Uzi available right here. And the Uzi is on three other, you know, two other locations at least on the map. So then our next goal is to get out to the docks. And the quickest way to get out there is by using the gondola. Uh, we're making our way over to the gondola. Everything's open. You just have to use the afterlife in order to power the gondola. And then it's 750 points to get down there. So a uh, pretty quick route to get down to the docks. And then we get to our third beast location, and that's where we're going to feed the beast yet a third time. And we have direct access to Jug. All you need to have is somebody go into Afterlife and uh, enable the Jug machine. One thing I would recommend, though, if you're going to get Jug, and, and also if the players didn't get Uzis, you probably should get Uzis before you come down here. Or you can hold off and uh, pick up uh, the M1927, the Tommy gun. Um, I wouldn't recommend turning on or, or powering the Jug machine, Juggernog, until all four players are ready to buy it. Because you'll see what happens here. Uh, I think one of us bought it, or we activated it. One of us, I think, at least bought it, if not two. But then what happened in this round, this round six, was the uh, Brutus spawned in. And he ended up locking out the jug machine. So it took an extra 2,000 just to unlock it again for us to buy it. So I think best strategy here, and I, th I would say that with all the perk machines, uh, don't enable or don't power any of the perk machines until everybody is ready to buy it. And once you buy it, he can lock it down all he wants. Who cares? Uh, you know, Of course, unless you get downed and you lose your perks. But I think that's definite strategy there. So we uh, made it through another round. We all have Jug. And you can go from here wherever you want. We chose to go up to the warden's office and uh, grab the key and uh, open up the laundry area. But you can do anything you want. And, uh, you know, round six, we've got Jug. We've got the uh, the Tomahawks. Actually, we're on our way to get the Tomahawks here. Sorry. Um, so I just slowed it down here a bit for you. I mean, I'm not full, you know, so it's one speed one times one speed but uh there you go you've got the hell's retriever we got jug and uh we're good to go here on round six we're in good shape and then it's whatever you want to do as i mentioned uh we ended up going to the warden's office we grabbed the key uh in front of the warden's office we opened the door down to the laundry went to the laundry room we opened the door in the laundry room and uh got the uniform so it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do after that, and uh, that's it, our starting strategy for Mob the Dead. I think it's uh, pretty damn effective, whether you're playing solo or co-op.
Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Spider and I'm out.